okay friends let's continue our e-commerce site yesterday we have a complete our logic for alternative images for product uh, let's I will show you alt images is a table for alternative images and you can see we have a product ID is 19 and 26 have a some alternative images okay mm, we will try to display here images and one more thing I will do I will want to display count in admin panel how many images product have currently uh, like I say admin open view products and can see count of alt images here okay this couple of things we will complete now first of all go to your front folder view of product detail okay and where you are showing your pricing everything here um, yeah here you can see uh, let's say here i will show you where is going or uh, refresh yeah here but also i need some more things uh, let's say make a new row column d rows and here is div class column d three i think three one one four just uh, let's display this refresh yeah, we will display here our alternative images okay mm, so that let's say some more uh, elements uh, alternative alternative images you can just add something its name it's oh, totally optional it's up to you okay and here i need loop for loop i need Uh, let's say I need a query all right images um, images okay and share DB table name is all right images uh, I think uh, let me check first what is the name of our it's all at image okay is and we need a where condition what is where where is there is provide which is provide this one provide okay and it will be our already we are fetching some data uh, like a we are fetching data this one okay just copy this we need product id okay and yeah we are finally get that data okay now you can write a for each loop for product images as a blade elements start for each and for each will be sure um, which contain arrays of data but images and 
single one and for each for now i am just displaying simply nothing fancy image source source will be um, let's say url no no i mean configure this contains your uh, data of app like a local or slash your folder name okay app dot url slash public i think image and let's see confirm that path images and this is your folder name just copy its name and here slash your alert image and name is this one copy this copy and paste it okay it's your image source completely but need a its width also because our image is large we need to display here uh, width is under pixel i think is right and it's look good okay refresh to see our results okay and for each oh my god it's uh, like that refresh and you can see one more thing we need margin margin will be 5 pixel let's see how it's look refresh it's nice one more thing you can do you can do refresh yeah you can do this one mm, let's move margin from here okay nice one let's say you have 80 and 80 pixel make it more small it's up to you you can do uh, as you want okay 100 pixel is right okay now now check any other product have a data uh, let's say 19 go to 19 as you can see yeah um, if i open any different which product have not any alternative image yeah you can see like that but we not don't need this type of okay then you have to say make it in one line okay it's now one line and from here and start a if condition colors images arrays count is not empty it will be our product have not alternative image or have not you can check like that count mm, not equal to zero then we'll display this div otherwise I, I will not displaying this just empty refresh
you can see it's by default now open product which have a data of alternative images like that okay we don't need this type of uh, i will remove this i think it's here i don't need this it's up to you you can use if you want Fresh. It's so clean. Uh, I think add to wish list it must be after that. Here you can use here if you want to display this button before that. Okay, this is also nice. It's up to you, you can display like this. Uh, if you want to display column two, then it will display like this. And it will work with, I think, small image. Copy this, same for height, refresh. Uh, it's also nice you can check uh, other product 26 id yeah it's up to you any size you want to display you can display here mm, okay second one i want to display count here for particular product have a how many alternative images okay for that go to your view of admin and its products here is products i want to display after this button or images mm, we have a this is button okay let's say you have a, a count as a count images oh. if product have not any alternative image it will display zero images found so replace count with actual count for that start your php tag here uh, i recommend use um, blade but here is uh, we have a option okay uh, images let's say it's any use of name for this i use a images and db table name table name is alert images and where condition where is we use this one okay copy this not pro price i will replace this okay product id id okay and get if i will say let's go here and share count count will be this function and a for alert images let's see it's how it's working refresh zero images found one image found zero image found we remember we have a 19 id let's see 19 id nineteen 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 yeah we have a five images you can check how many images we have in the view of our product 19 let's see one two three four five yeah you have a five image and you have a second product a 26 you have a 26 seven images let let's check 
26 okay you can see is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yeah you have a 7 images 26 id okay guys thanks for watching we will cover more more functionality in our upcoming video please feedback me you can comment any question any query thank you guys